Before Disney, Pixar's Incredibles 2 and Universal's Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom arrived to stomp and completely own the June landscape. Warner Brothers, Village Road Joe's Gender Twist Oceans 8 is poised to be a solid piece of counter-programming at the summer box office. Warner Brothers is estimating low to mid $30 millions, which is around what the Steven Soderbergh-directed George Clooney Brad Pitt trilogy saw in those openings, ranging from $36 million $39 million. More aggressive estimates for the reported $70 million Village Road Joe co-production are above $40 million, but forecasting has been so wonky lately it pays to be conservative. The 2001 version of Ocean's Eleven, itself a reboot of the famed Rat Pack 1960s films, posted a 4.8x multiple for $183 million stateside, while Ocean's 13 off a $36.1 million opening churned a 3.2x multiple for $117.1 million. While Sony's all-fam Ghostbusters, $46 million, divided fans with its gender swap, Ocean's 8 arguably doesn't have that baggage, its fans not so precious about the property. Plus, it should be an easy segue to get fans of the Clooney Pit films to get in seats when you consider the fact that they skewed around 55% female in their exit polls. Sandra Bullock plays Debbie Ocean, sister of Clooney's Danny, who spearheads a heist at the New York Met Gala. Anne Hathaway, Kate Blanchett, Rihanna, Sarah Paulson, Helena Bonham Carter, Mindy Kaling and Aquafina are along for the ride. Also good to note that Oceans has more overseas playing power in its brand than Ghostbusters given its chic, fashionista, stylized tone on this film and the early out versions, with foreign repping over 60% on each title. WB International and Village Road Show have averaged foreign ticket sales on the Soderbergh titles around $200 million plus. Foreign openings are staggered for Ocean's 8. Previews literally start tonight in AMC locations for Ocean's 8 and those ticket sales will be rolled into Thursday previews, which will be rolled into Friday's opening number. The Gary Ross-directed pick will play in 4,000 locations by Friday. Rotten Tomatoes is at 78% fresh which is higher than Ocean's 13, 70%, but lower than Ocean's 11, 82% certified fresh Ocean's 12 with its eccentric French new wave plotting turned critics off at 54% rotten. Meanwhile, Disney Solo, a Star Wars store will slow down by minus 55% in Weekend 3 for $13 million, bringing its running cube to around $172 million. A continued off. Last night, audiences erupted with joy during the end credits at The Incredibles 2 premiere, a pick which is poised to open to $150 million next Friday. Hereditary A24 Two other titles looking to counter-program event titles this weekend are Global Roads Hotel Artemis and A24's horror film Hereditary, however, they don't look like they're going to break out though the latter distributor always surprises and knows how to dial into their hipster crowds. Both are tracking in the mid to high single digits with Hereditary having better reviews 93% RT fresh than Hotel Artemis 68%. Hotel Artemis Global Road Iron Man 3 scribe Drew Pierce makes his feature directorial debut with Hotel Artemis, an artsy thriller set in a nerf for criminals in a dystopian future Los Angeles. Jodie Foster, Sterling K. Brown, Sophia Batella and Dave Bautista star. Global Road acquired domestic in February. Pick will play in 2,340 theaters. Ari Aster also makes his feature directorial debut with Hereditary starring Tony Collette and Gabriel Byrne. The Sundance title received great reviews out of the festival and is co-financed by a 24 and Palm star. In the pic the matriarch of a family dies, and her daughter's family begins to unravel cryptic and increasingly terrifying secrets about their ancestry. Pick will play in 2,800 sites. Thursday previews start at 7pm for both picks.